Hello everyone. Welcome to Tech Ball with MJ. This is Murari. Today I will explain how you can utilize the ChatGPT AI model to write the unit test. So previously, whatever method we have created for that we must have to write the unit test manually. But currently, because we will have the ChatGPT AI model, so with the help of that model, we can just give the command or instruction to the ChatGPT wizard or model. so uh, that will create that unit test in a very short period of time so let go on on our another slide so this is just a prerequisites uh, required to write the unit test so first of all we must have the chat gpt extension to be installed with our visual studio id for that i already have created a video so i will add in our description video description another one is open ai key again it is created an api key to be configured with the visual studio the both of three links already with there in the description so please go and check out that video for this prerequisite and once you will set up the everything like first so uh, first second and third points then now we are ready to use the chat gpt fun- functionality okay so let's uh, go on our screen we will show you how you we can utilize this particular extension with our visual studio okay so currently uh in 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 my case i have installed everything uh, that's why i will just show you where this chat gpt will be shown in your uh, visual studio id so once you will click and vi- uh, view so here you will have other window okay so here you can see there is two points uh, visual chat gpt studio and another one is visual chat gpt studio turbo so we will discuss i mean i already have created a video for that so i mean i do not want to go in deep so you can go and check out that video uh, and how we can utilize uh, this things uh, to write the unit test i will explain once i will do uh, the man i mean uh, the first process how we can use it so first of all i have created a project and i have taken a very simple class library and this project is video uh, i mean dot net 6 here you can see i have taken a project uh, with a dot net 6 and uh, uh, our idea is visual studio 2022 okay so uh, here i have created a very simple class i mean uh, first project library is for uh, classes and another is a uh, unit test and here i have used the any unit okay so now we will go and see uh, check how the chat gpt will write the code whatever uh, here is required okay so currently here we have three methods in this simple class so so here you can see uh, i have a add class withdrawal and transfer to fund of uh, transfer fund to that uh, main account okay so this is just a basic examples uh for the better understanding so first of all i will go and select this particular methods okay and i will instruct the chat gpt to, to write the unit test for us so here you will go here you will right click and after that you will have the visual visual chat gpt studio then you will scroll and write and you will have add test once you will click on add test and after that i am i am not doing anything so chat gpt is writing the code for us so here our code is ready okay so now here you can see i have some error so error is i mean intentionally this error is because currently i am using the uh, any unit and by default chat gpt provided us whatever ext- i mean uh, needed package are required for the visual studio so here you can go and check what Uh, I mean, new get package is required to resolve this. New, uh, when I am saying new get package, this is a library that we need to inherit in our main projects. So here is uh, by default it is giving from MS Test. So we will just go and uh, I mean install that new get package MS Test and uh, add with our project. Then this error will be gone. So I mean this type of monitoring we must be there uh, to write the unit test. Okay, so. Uh, one way to do this so here you can say everything uh, it is uh, it is uh, written in a in a well uh, manner or formatted okay so here you can say the arrange another one is action act 
and third one is assured so these all are the process here you can see uh, in this line also it is giving error uh, so it means currently i have not installed uh, this package so why i'm not going to install the reason behind is i am using uh, the n unit so uh, wait i will show you the same thing i mean same unit is writing in the n unit as well so don't worry about that i am just i mean our intention is just to show how with the help of chat gpt you can write the unit test okay uh, for the another method also for example in this case i will select this method and it will write the exact whatever unit test is required for that particular method so i will go and click on visual chat gpt studio will go and click on add test so after that i am not doing anything so here you can see chat gpt is writing code for us i mean here you can see it is typing i mean it's like a machine is typing for us okay so uh, and this this compile time error i already described you so don't worry about that you just have to add a nuget package and here you can see it is so currently when i am selecting this particular method so chat gpt is, doesn't have any information of this particular method is in which class this method is that's why by default it is uh, it is creating a class so and that class name is account as per chat gpt pre training okay so it is taking uh, this method as a account class so obviously uh, because we have to monitor we have to monitor whatever code in chat gpt is doing so in in case of monitoring we we must have to change this class name so this class should be i mean this class should be the this bank account class okay so you must have to go and change whatever class is required and another thing is one thing to keep in your mind so for example at a time for current i mean in chat gpt 3.5 model at a time you can do whatever operation you want on a single method at a time you cannot select more than one method so for example this is a add methods okay so when i will select this method with the upper one as well uh, as well i mean another section as well so in this case when i will go and click on add test again or, or any operations so in this case it will tell us a message that you cannot select i mean here you can see please select one method at a time so this is uh, i mean this may be uh, fixed or this may be improved uh, in the another uh, chat gpt model like chat gpt4 currently I haven't used but in this model it is a limitation that at at the same time you cannot do the more than one operations okay so currently i mean i mean at the same time you can select only particular methods to do any type of operations you cannot select more than one method okay so this is the limitation right now for the chat gpt uh, 3 model okay so this is the things uh, that you already have seen another way to write the unit test so now the question is currently i have added a project bank any unit and here i have already installed a package called any unit but by default chat gpt is giving us a unit test for the vs library i mean according to the vs library so now we can instruct to the chat gpt to write this particular methods unit test uh, in uh, with the help of x unit or n unit then it will provide you whatever the expected result uh, you required okay so for that we will go here in the uh, other window here you will open visual studio chat gpt turbo okay so here you will come i will click on expand this window okay just i have to i already have written the question so for example currently i required write a unit test uh right unit test using any unit because currently i have installed a framework uh, called any units that why 
you know, I will instruct or I will give the command to the chat GPT to write the unit test for, for the particular method uh, using any unit. Okay. So here I will go and put this question on that chat window. Here I will go and paste it. So here I, I uh, command or uh, request to the chat GPT to, to write unit test using any unit. And here I will provide that methods. Okay. So here I will copy this method and will send to the chat GPT and chat GPT will write and after uh, once you will uh, paste it, then here you will click on that send button. So now I will expand this screen. We'll click on this send button here. I will click. So wait for, I mean, some time like five to ten seconds it will generate the unit test for this particular matters as we are expecting i mean we are expecting in any unit because we have the annual framework right now so it will generate uh, exactly what you expecting okay meanwhile we are doing i mean we are just removing whatever changes we have done right now because it will give some error once we will run the unit test, so I will remove it for now. By the way, our chat GPT looks generated the expected results. So I will just show you how we can utilize that thing. Okay, so now it is okay right now. Okay, again, we'll go and check the unit test is written or not properly. So here you can see the unit test is written uh, using an unit okay so i mean you do not have to worry about you just need to go and copy this whatever unit test is written by chat gpt you will go and paste in your class for example in my chat gpt uh, i mean unit test class here i will go and click on here and paste it so whatever chat GPT is provided us, just go and copy and paste it in, in your class. Okay. So now this is the code that chat GPT has written. And uh, I mean, we must have to monitor because in some cases, chat GPT, uh, because of uh, there's some different classes and everything, it may be at some place, it may be wrong. That's why you just need to monitor it. Once everything is looks okay, then you will, I mean, I haven't do anything because I already added uh, this unit test as a, any unit. So I will go and click on test and we'll go and run it. Okay. So here, once I will click on this. So now the two which I have added. Okay. I think there is some issue with some another unit test. I will check it. Okay, wait. Increase by lens, a shirt, account. What is the account? I mean, what is the class account class? So it will 150 okay wait here so looks it's uh, amount equal to this and add amount equal to this so the equal adding the positive account balance amount amount was this and account here you will set I mean from somewhere else it is the bank account uh, 1000 so here you we will go and add 1050 will go and run again uh, 
Okay. Okay, so this this time our test is passed. So the reason behind this error is uh, currently in the constructor we are passing thousands. So here uh, the chat GPT. Uh, that's what I uh, told you. So we must have to monitor what chat GPT is giving us. So I mean monitoring time is required in this case. So currently we are passing one thousand here to create the object. Okay. And currently, uh, the chat GPT provided us a one a one zero five. I mean one fifty. That's why, uh, because of this monitoring, this error is going on here. So I mean, our intention is just to show with the help of chat GPT extension, you can write a uh, very complex methods unit test as well. For your understanding, for basic understanding, I have used. Uh, this type of uh, very basic methods, but in your case, you can. I mean, I already have implemented this chat GPT with our current project or real world project, and this is working fine for the complex method as well. Just you have to monitor at last once you will copy and paste it. So, I mean, whatever logic you will write or you will think about that that will be created by chat GPT in a very short period of time. So, this will save your. Uh, I mean, productive time to do some more valuable task uh, instead of writing the unit test or expending the more time in the unit test. So that's all regarding that. Uh, so uh, I mean, whatever reference video is required to understand this uh, session. So I will add in the chat description. So you must go and check out that video as well related to the chat GPT extension. Okay, that's all for my side. So if you feel this video looks helpful to you, then please subscribe our channel and uh, do not forget to hit the like, uh, I mean bell icon and like button for the future updates. And please share with your community to uh, get this type of information as well. Thank you. Thanks again.